All right, all right, all right. Well, it is week 13 of journaling, uh, going from uh, visual acuity uh, to legally blind. Um, and uh, just got back from a, another trip. Um, and I'll say relatively, uh, relatively went well with the, uh, traveling this time. Um, uh, only had one little thing and it wasn't really a thing, but, um, I, uh, got dropped off at an airport that I'm not used to. And, um, when I got dropped off, there was construction. So I, I didn't get dropped off actually, uh, at the Delta counter area. Um, so, um, I was, uh, come to find out I was halfway between, uh, all of them. So it was right in the middle. Delta was at the very far right hand end. Um, so I'm, I'm standing there. I'm trying to, to kind of figure out which way to go. Um, I uh, was trying to use, was about to use my phone, I should say, to, to zoom in, but I'm not sure that would have been a, a super helpful, um, in that situation. So, um, a pilot walked up, don't know who he flew for really nice dude though. And he's like, Hey man, um, just first of all, really like your shirt. Um, and I was wearing one of the black and yellow shirts that, that this one has a picture of a person walking with a, a white cane basically. And it says, I can see, but I can't see. Um, and so, uh, he said, um, you, uh, forgive me for saying it, but you kind of look a little lost. Can I help you? Um, which I was very thankful for because admittedly I, I wasn't sure where to go, which way to go. And, uh, so I told him, you know, I'm looking for the Delta counter and he was nice enough to tell me, um, you know, that direction and it looks like you're going to pass, you know, this one and that one and this one, and then you'll be there. Um, so that was really, really helpful. Um, and, uh, made it to the, made it up there. Um, and, uh, really without any, any major difficulties after that, um, which was good. The, uh, definitely would uh, say that I'm giving myself extra time uh, traveling uh, legally blind. Um, you know, uh, I don't, I definitely don't come up to the airport with an hour till flight uh, or any of that anymore. Uh, I get to the airports two hours early solid. Um, and that's, that's probably something I'd recommend really important because, um, you know, there can be delays uh, getting the, the porter to come and help you get through security and get to the gate and all those things. And, and there were actually, um, so on that leg of the trip, I had gotten there, uh, about an hour or sorry, two hours and a half early. Um, and by the time I got through check-in and, um, and the porters were available and things like that, um, it turns out that I, I got to the gate with about 35 minutes left, um, which that's still plenty of time, but it wouldn't have been if I'd have gotten there an hour early. So, uh, one thing I, I will say I'm learning is definitely allocate a, a little extra time when you're traveling. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's just something to know. Um, one of the things that, uh, I will say that is just, it's a continuation is, um, using the cane. Um, anytime I'm in a new environment, um, you know, I, I've gotten to where I just use it. Um, if I've been in the environment long enough, you know, I've memorized all the, the step up, step downs, um, you know, potholes, things like that, then, then, okay, I won't, but, um, if it's a new environment, absolutely. Um, because at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's no different than with a sighted person. You never expect a trip. Um, then, then you do, uh, it's the same principle with legally blind. I don't expect a trip. And then all of a sudden there's a drop down there that, that I did not see. So, uh, that's one thing that I've gotten used to and I just use it pretty much all the time, unless I've, I've been there enough that I know where the step up or the step down is. And I feel very, very confident in that. Uh, and even then I, I, I will say you, you got to take it slower. Um, you know, I was, uh, walking down the steps of my, my sister's house recently and, um, they have bricks and all the bricks look the same. Uh, so it looks like one continuous long brick essentially, cause there's no depth going down. Um, and so knowing how many steps are there, I still take it much slower now, um, than I would before and counting the steps helps a ton. So that's absolutely something that, um, is different, but it's not, not a bad thing. It's just a matter of, you know, do it a little differently. Uh, but overall, um, my, uh, my headaches have been pretty under control. Um, they're definitely down from where they were weeks ago. 
Um, so that's good. Um, you know, in the last two weeks I had three majors. Um, you know, you're going to have the minors. They are what they are, but the majors are the ones that, whoo, buddy. Uh, so I only had three of those, um, in two weeks time. So I, I think that's fantastic. Um, so, cause, uh, it had gotten to where I was having four to five a week. And so, uh, you know, obviously if you're doing math, there's not too many days a week left there where, where you're not. Sorry if you're hearing the dogs in the background scratch. They really want to come in and say hi. Uh, beyond that, um, I am going to O&M school coming up very, very, very shortly. Um, super excited. Definitely going to do some um, discussions about that. Um, expecting that to be a lot of hard work, but also a lot of awesome learning. And so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, and then also the uh, I've been told the equipment, uh, the visual impairment equipment is... Um, pretty much all in, I believe. So within the next couple of weeks, all that will, will be, uh, in place. So I can uh, start talking about some of those things and how they work and what they do for you or don't do for you. Um, so really, really excited for that. Um, my, uh, uh, my Lord, I mean, it is just such a blessing, quite frankly, I, I look around and, um, recently had a family member that, that had an issue. And so I was in the hospital with them, um, a significant amount of time, um, and just looking around at the people suffering and, and the issues that are going on, um, you know, I definitely consider myself blessed. Um, and, you know, uh, quite frankly, um, the people that I've been able to talk to and, um, the conversations that have been opened up, uh, because of the legal blindness, to be honest with you, um, weren't there before. Um, and, 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 on, and we've talked about a lot of topics, um, including, uh, Jesus and God. Um, and people are very much more open to having a conversation, um, a meaningful conversation. And the funniest thing is, uh, that me being blind is, is, is the icebreaker. Um, and that's not something I, I probably ever would have thought of, uh, that being, an icebreaker, uh, for conversations leading into everything from business to God. Um, and it really has been, um, on this, uh, this trip that I just got back from, um, I literally, um, had two very in-depth conversations, uh, with people, uh, that were wanting to start their own businesses and wanting to talk about my experiences over the years. Cause I've, I've done several, um, and those icebreak, those literally started as icebreakers from my legal blindness and my history. Um, and, um, I honestly can't even tell you, I, I can tell you this. There were more than 12 people for certain, um, that we got into pretty good conversations around, uh, Jesus and God and the Bible. Um, some of them are, some of them definitely believers, um, to start with, uh, and some of them, no, not really. Um, and not an awkward conversation for either one of us. Um, and it literally started out with, uh, the blindness and their questions about, well, why am I not depressed and sitting there with my hands over my face, basically crying in my seat. Uh, and you know, that led into, uh, belief, faith, hard work, um, and things of that nature. So it was really, really has, uh, it's been very eye opening. Um, no pun intended. Um, and, you know, um, there's always a purpose there that you may or may not understand. And, um, that is, uh, something that seems to be, uh, happening more and more. Um, and, you know, I don't know if, uh, before I, I, I didn't have some of the conversations cause I was afraid to, to have them. Um, and now I'm just like, whatever, this is it. Um, it is what it is. Or if, you know, or if I, I didn't think about it that way, but you know, I'm just very blunt and honest about it that, you know, look, I'm not sitting here all sad in my pudding because I believe there's a purpose for everything. And, um, I believe that, you know, uh, quite frankly, uh, Jesus is, is going to take care of that. And as long as I can just work hard, um, things will work out going back to, you know, the, the Bible conversations about essentially, uh, you know, if you don't throw the seeds down, they're not going to get watered bottom line. Um, so I can sit around and wallow in, oh my gosh, I can't see, blah, blah, blah. Or I can throw the seeds down, bust my butt, and trust and have faith that 
my life will prosper and do well. And those are the kind of conversations that just have led into a lot of deep and meaningful um, conversations that I just, I've been surprised. That That's one thing I will say as a takeaway. I've been very, very surprised about. Um, so, uh, and, and those have been, uh, honestly, uh, uh, pretty, pretty fulfilling. Some of them are challenging conversations, especially with a couple of people that are like, well, I don't really believe and here's why. Well, that's fine. You know, um, but the, they've all been cordial conversations and, uh, I've walked away from all of them, um, having enjoyed the, 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 the discussion and, um, you know, really with, with some hope for, for a lot of the people that we've been talking with. And I've just really been surprised by that. Um, and I guess I shouldn't be, you know, uh, but I have. So any rate, uh, I fully expect that, uh, the next time, uh, probably, uh, in journal 14, I'm, uh, uh, expecting to be, um, discussing some of the upcomings, uh, but then by journal 15, I, I'm, I'm expecting to have a lot of new stuff to talk about. So, uh, really, uh, upbeat, very, very happy with the way things are going. Um, you know, and listen, I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating this around. If I had a magic wand, would I be blind? No, of course I wouldn't be blind, but I am. And you know what? It could be so much worse. And I'm seeing blessings and like these conversations, come into my life that I didn't expect. And I am really, really curious to know what happens next. So, all right, y'all be good out there. Peace out, Girl Scout.